Hi everyone, welcome back to Minecraft Mario Survival. So, what we're going to do now in this part is we're going to start draining the oil that is surrounding the water and then once we're done with the draining of that then we can move the pipes down so that they're level with the water, just make it look nicer. So what I'll do is I'll set up the time lapse and we'll get that there started. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, so that is pretty much a uh, the oil all pumped out of the water, and uh, I think we might have sucked up some water from it. I don't know, but this here is designed to prevent that. So what we're gonna have to do now is dig our way up and remove this whole platform and move it down one, so it's all level. So I'm the pain sticking task. Do I have a? Oh, I have this here. This should help. Let's see if we can get that in. There we go. And now I need to build it back up so I can go dismantle that. As you can see, there, there's the, the hole going down to it. Forbidden hole. <laughs> I don't want to fall into that. Christ, that'd be a bit of a. Um, oh, I just realized it would have made sense to uh, completely block off that hole so that nothing falls down there. How am I going to dismantle this? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to cover the hole. Actually, I'll just use the method. I'm just going to jump off here. Right. Uh, so let's just cover the, the top of this with... Um, Stone, just briefly. Wait for that uh, pipe to disappear. It should go down and back up again. There we go. And then uh, we can move it. Uh, if I get the right tools <laughs> in the toolbar. Right, okay, that's that. And now we just need to move the whole lot down. Uh, so we need to be very careful with dismantling this. Right, this is going to go here. There we go. And then we build it up and then dismantle it down. Um, I wonder if we have that third potion on us. That way we can get the whole lot. Um, that looks like it's pumped out that. That's okay. Uh, I need to go up one more. So we'll start from here. One, two, three. That's good so far. This one. Nah, I had to take a quick break there. Uh, right. Let me see. Let's get the rest of this here lifted up. Uh, I'll take this. Yep, I think we got it all here. Uh, I'll take the this and this one. We will make a nicer version down there. Uh, oh, there's a spider down there. Now I want to try and get up here. Okay. Should be able to get the rest of that. Yeah, did I do that? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, now we just uh, dig it down. But uh, also take this down at the same time. Right. 
just do this and then remove the thing with the torch. Um, I'll keep that there. There we go. <laughs> uh, right, that's that. Now we just need to put the pump over there. With the four going in it. And I need to be careful with that spider. I don't think it's battering mode, is it? Hopefully not. Actually, I don't trust it. Didn't trust that at all. Uh, right, so we need to... First things first, we need to get the... Uh, I'm not sure that away. Uh, we need to get the engines up first. And then we move the... Oh, move them on there. And then we get our pump. Put that there. And we get our... Ah, uh... where's the fourth one? Oh, there it is. And we put this one here. So it's all nice and symmetric. And now we take the pipe from that and we root straight over. And we'll just keep that filter on it. As a, uh, oh god, <laughs> okay, it missed that. Very good. It's all set up now. We just need to head back. And I did take a wee peek earlier on, and it is uh, the the oil has made its way up to the factory, so that's good. Let me casually drink my tea in a Christmas mug. Don't judge me. I mean, um, it's a good mug. It's the biggest mug that the that there is in this house, apart from me. <laughs> um, oh wait. Yeah. Why did I think we needed the on um, the potion for for going under there? There was there was some reason. Oh, well, something's left my head now. There was a reason why we needed to take another potion. I can't remember what it was for. Something underwater, but what was that for? Nah. If there's any items that are uh, dropped and fell on the ground, it's alright. They can they're expendable because we've got that much stuff that it's easily replaced. It's just really saving time, I suppose. Um, I suppose what we can do now is we can we can take that potion, the last potion, and I'll show you the what the choirs look like whenever they're uh, pretty much done. So I'll uh, take the boat in as close as I can, and then I'll jump in and have a look. Or actually, I'll, I'll dock it up because we need this boat. I don't want to be leaving them over there in a the pile. There's a whole point why we have this bay in over here anyway. If anything, the, the factory is in the wrong orientation. If anything, the, the bay door should be actually over there. Although the reason was because there was a nice wee area there for it, I suppose. I just can't remember my intentions sometimes. I left the door open as well. Uh, so we have here's the oil here, so it is coming up and it's all running through it there, so it's it's all good, and we're all getting plenty of uh, traction out of everything now. The only thing is now we need the uh, the wire just needs to be moved. Right, so I'll quickly show you what it looks like. So we'll, uh, let's stick on this potion here and we'll go down and have a look. Um, did they give me the potion? Why did they give me? All oh, right, okay. So this is what a quarry looks like here. Sometimes you will find um, more, uh, what's the word? Diamonds along the edges, you just don't see them. It looks very, very weird. Uh, and then the areas you see here are the ones uh, with obsidian are the ones where um, you've had lava coming in. And there's the quarry next door. The second quarry. That was in here. There's there. The second one. So let's see if we can find any diamonds. Sometimes you can. 
And I forgot as well that it doesn't do under obsidian, uh, obs not obsidian, um, bedrock. It doesn't do under it. So sometimes you do find the odd bits and pieces as well. And see, this is the downside of having it underwater, is you don't see all this. However, there is another trick you can do. If you want to put a quarry on land, one of the tricks is, shortly before starting off your quarry, put um, uh, just one block of water up in the corner. And then what happens is it spreads down eight, and then every layer comes down, it spreads another eight layers, and then eventually it covers. So I think what it does in theory is, when you get down eight levels, it will have covered the entire uh, quarry, which should be enough uh, to pretty much soak uh, all the lava that's underneath the quarry itself. And then what happens is, once you're finished with the quarry, just remove the one source block and the whole lot disappears. Um, it's actually quite cool to see that. And then... Um, you can go down to the bottom and start searching for uh, diamonds that haven't been uh, uncovered or any other minerals that haven't been uncovered and um, yeah it's it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty good way in, uh, to you know like sort of utilize and make sure that you've got everything you want uh, and then the other thing as well is you can turn it into a huge room and you can do many things with it just to add a floor on top of it and then you can put you've got a huge space to do whatever you want inside it um, I usually like to take a look at these uh, sort of nooks and crannies just to see what's in behind them and all. Uh, there's probably like lava in behind there, is there? Yeah, there's weird lighting bugs as well. I've noticed. Like you can see that there's no lava there, but they've they've lit them up despite no lava there, so it's kind of weird. Um, so there's nothing there. Let's see if we can go into the other one and see if we find anything. I'm just gonna quickly check to see if. Uh, the um, what do you call it? What the hell? How the hell was it doing that? That's so weird. Uh, we've got f all right. We've got more than half the time I'm in. Uh, so we'll quickly look at this one here, and um, I don't see anything down here at all. There's nothing sticking out. So now you'll see on the walls, no diamonds or whatever. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything. Alright, let's just descend up. There's nothing. Yeah. So I'll just go up to the top. Sometimes you find uh, you no know, cave systems that are very close to what you've already explored. You know, so it's good to have you know, like a staircase going down to it. And then you can see there, the, it's pretty much started this level here. You get tons of uh, gravel from it, so you do. Okay, here we are. Right, so the next part now uh, that we're going to do... Um, well, this pretty much isn't needed anymore, so I'm not going to bother putting any uh, coal in that. We'll only use it if we absolutely need it. So the next part now is to get the uh, canal done and the canal is, go as I said, is going to be five blocks wide, five blocks tall and then it's going to have a two block uh, wide path on the left side of it, not the right side on the left side. So even if we take raisins down, still no have access. So we're going to get that all set up pretty quick. Um, the time lapse camera is still over there, I need to move it over to here and we're going to put it two points between here and here. It's going to be short enough, it shouldn't take that long. I'd say anywhere between half an hour and an hour to get between here and here. And then it's a matter of just widening this out. I, I took a walk earlier on when I was looking for the cactus. I took a wee walk along here with raisins and I noticed uh, that there wasn't actually that much to do. All you really had to do was between here and here. And then if you imagine you follow this line across, it comes out to about there. And we just have to widen it a tiny wee bit here. And this this bit here is pretty much all done so what I'll do is I will try and get somewhere over to here so we don't have that much uh, digging over here to do um, instead of putting it over in the middle and coming way over here it's just better you know for talk sake of getting it uh, done and then uh, we can take the boat of the whole way out and I'll put some lights here and here to signal that you take the boat around and take it over to here 
and then that's it pretty much set to go out to here and then the end is right there the end is in there so it is but that we um um oh no no here because that's the fenced off area that raisins was in and that's pretty much it so it's not too far anyway not too far at all um yeah that's pretty much it i'm just looking there the oil is there and it probably would have been quicker to go to this one yeah, it would have been less resources to get to this one. Although you'd have to dig a large tunnel. Because there is no tunnel going in this direction. Uh, I just noticed there that the top view. That there looks kind of cool from the top view. Right. Uh, let's not get distracted. Because it's night time. <laughs> so let's quickly go to uh, sleep. Once I this uh, maybe we will run the quarry one more time. Just for... Last six. This see this that's what I'm talking. See the way you see that there. I said in the last episode. See the way that uh, thing's walking around and it's lit up the area around it. I thought uh, there was a character walking around on my world. See it was all lit up and it was way over there. Freaky enough, so it is. It looks like there's no one another player in the world. As I said before, that it wouldn't be the first time that's happened. See me and my friends. We used to play it in college and. Somebody joined our, um, somebody joined our game, or joined his game. I don't know if he gave him, like, the address or whatever, but I'm pretty sure you can connect to it if you just use localhost and the port number. Some weird thing anyway, but somebody joined onto it anyway and then disappeared. I'm just pretty sure it was just friends trolling each other. Right, um, okay, so what we'll do is we'll go to bed and we'll get the stuff here for, um, mining. So let's put away. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take the water bottles. Actually, no, we need that. We need the water bottles for the potions. So let me swap that one for that one. There we go. And then we can put the these here in it so they're ready to go again. There we go. So that's save space there. And uh, let's eat more food. Make sure we take the one the last there we go and we'll put the stuff into the sword and chest okay i'll put this over here so that's going this miscellaneous that 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 can go that can go and then the rest of those pipes and all can go over here and I just need to check the bags to make sure there's not an ounce of value in there. There we go. Yeah, let's check the bags. No, all good. Uh, what about the other two? Uh, we'll just use the pickaxe we have, so I'm going to take the other one. The fresh one. And we have a shovel. That's okay, so we can use that. Next thing we need is uh, the cart. So we're going to rob that cart from the um, cactus farm. And some coal oat tracks tracks where is our tracks anyway there's some there but I think there might be some in these bags no Let's keep them up here is there definitely none in here no keep that up there uh, there must be tracks down here somewhere uh, definitely did see some about tracks there's some there there's more there. Uh, would have thought there'd be some in there. There's not. Uh, there's more there. And that's pretty much it, yeah. So I think we've plenty anyway to do where we're going. It's not that far, as I say, it's only over to there to there. So let's go rob the Madra cart, rob some fuel, and then we can head over. We don't need any. We do need torches, I forgot. So let's make a, load, a bunch of torches. I'm going to steal all of this because we're not going to be doing cobble anymore. Uh, there's no point. Uh, same with cactus. I'm going to steal all that. And convert all uh, loads of torches out of that. Um, so let's see. Let's make all that into torches. Maybe not. Maybe that'll be an overkill. 
Yeah, it should be plenty. Alright, that should be good. Right, let's go rob that car. And put that up there. I love that you can walk through the door when it's not um, opened yet. And let me see, is there anything to take it out of this before I go? Yeah, this. Oh, I just. Oh, I thought um, cause you can destroy items by throwing them at the cactus. That was actually dangerous. I didn't realise how dangerous that was. Right. Um, oh, and we need to finish off this here as well. Uh, but we'll do that after the canal. Because then um, we can just centralise everything else here. So I'll take the boat over. And then we'll start the time lapse. Okay, here we go. And we are taking it into the second bay, not the first one, the second one. Which is not this one here. This one. And we'll take it up right close to the end. Which is right about... I suppose it would make sense to put it there. Let me see, just check there again. It makes sense to put it here, but if we follow that line there, that takes us out there. But ideally we want to we want to start here, which takes us out there. If we start here, it takes us out here. Yeah, no actually let's do it. Let's do it here. It's a lot better. And go in the middle. So I'd say this is probably about the middle here. It's just a lot easier, so it is. So let's uh and and we'll put um we'll set it and I'll destroy certain items. And uh, I'll get it to dig by hand here. that in actually and then what we do is you remove the uh, and we'll go any further than that and now we're gonna dig in so this is where I'll start the time-lapse
Okay, so that is the canal and path that goes around it. It has been completed. Now, I'm, I'm not taking it as far around the corner. There's no point to going around there. It just could, it would just be overkill. Uh, and also, I'm also very, yep, that's something I need to keep note of. I haven't got any food at all, do I? Just quickly check the bags. No food at all, no. Currently running on empty here. No. I'm gonna have to eat some of this. Just enough to get back. As uh, 20 seconds of hunger. Right, we have a boat. Uh, let's hop on that. Uh, so we'll just try out the uh, the canal. So this part here pretty much goes straight over to where we want it, um, or joins on the canal, goes straight ahead. I'll not go too far into that. And then this way here uh, pretty much comes back. So this will be the way we take in future in order to get back to the um, the uh, <laughs> factory. Couldn't think of the name of it there for a second. And um, it is a wee bit. Yeah, I don't really like that, to be honest. I might make that a wee bit wider. I wonder if we can get away with doing that now. Let's make it just a tiny wee... Just a wee sh uh, shave off there. Um, yeah, take that all back. If it needs to be a wee bit, just no double, I suppose. Yeah, like that. Oh, the holes are doing my head in. There we go. Yeah, it's easier this way. There, the way the water's doing that. Uh, let's get this bucket and put that there. Yep, yeah, that's that fixed. Right now, we can continue. Uh, yeah, pretty much from here. I'm just gonna change that weather. Let's hit that rain. This is coming back to bit here. There. Should be plenty of space now. I'm just going to change the day really quick. Just um, for the sake of this here video. Uh, yeah, it's a lot better. A lot easier to navigate there, so it is. And just quickly turn around there. So let me just check the rest of it. So that's um, perfect. Let me come around here. Same thing, yeah, that's alright, and then you've got the path around there as well, and then it is a hard left, like that. Perfect, and now we've got uh, a path here, the tunnel, 
Again, it's hard to keep it straight. I'm prevent it from brushing up against stuff. Yeah, it's a lot better. It does cut a lot, um, a bit at the time. And we take it right up here. Where we go into the factory. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I was thinking of putting a wee piers along there uh, with lights on it just to say it not to go in here. You know, to go around this part here. And in we go. That's pretty much it. So that's the canal ready for the end. Next part now we need to do is fix the, um, the stairs where we're going to do that on stone. Just check the, uh, the refinery. See if it's still working away there. Yep, appears to be still working away. We've got lots of fuel there coming in. By the looks of things, and I wonder if it's starting to backfill. Kind of surprised it hasn't backfilled yet. It, it goes up very slowly though. It should start to backfill very soon. Well, that there will fill up first. Well, that's already filled up by the looks of things. Won't be long jamming up there. Uh, that would have been handy for our pipe sealant. We could have done with that. Uh, so the next part, what we'll do is we will finish off these here stairs. And again, that'll be another time lapse as well. There's no point going over that. And our wee cactus farm is nearly uh, fully finished. So I'm just going to dump all this stuff here into the chest. And I suppose that can go in there as well. Okay, so that's it for this here episode. Thanks again for watching. Next episode, we're going to get the stairs done and we are going to get potions made. And then the episode after that will be the end. So this here will only take, uh, well, the time lasts for that will only probably last anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes. Uh, and then the potions shouldn't take too long. And then uh, after that will be the journey to the end. And I just need to check my list very quickly. Uh, oh yes, it'll be the part of the potions will be doing golden apples, um, arrows, uh, etc. The rest is pretty much done uh, and hunt for better food. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll just get a load of beef, that won't be hard. So that's it, and plenty more to come. See you in the next one. I would like to throw out a huge thank you to our donators. You helped make these videos possible.